What's up, people? It's your boy Nisheng, and you're in the levels the upstairs room with GR Live's The Attic. Welcome back to the attic, and you are in the upper levels with Jerome Butner. Say hi to the fans. Hi there. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Nice to be here as well. Nice to be here, man. Ah, man, the pleasure's all mine. But let's get into it. So let's start by asking you, how old are you, Jerome? I'm 27. 27? Soon to be 28. Soon oh, to wow. Be 28, yeah. you, don't, you don't look that old. <laughs> <laughs> and, and are you from Birmingham? From Birmingham. Um, grew up in Birmingham. Um, still living in Birmingham. And um, yeah. Okay. Hopefully we'll be Birmingham? here in Birmingham. Still, I'm still um, in Sutton Caulfield. Oh, right. Okay, you're on the edge. So I'm the, yeah, on the edge of Birmingham, North I don't know so. whether we can class that as Birmingham, <laughs> but we'll, we'll go with it. <laughs> yeah, so you're a gospel singer? Yeah, indeed. Meaning you are a Christian? Yep. How long have you been singing first? I've been singing since I've been about... All my life, to be honest. Wow. And then came out singing like... Ah. <laughs> you well, a couple you years after. A couple, <laughs> <laughs> couple years after. Um, but then I started singing seriously... Um, started singing at 13 and then when okay. I got to about 16, 17, I kind of realised that's what I want to do and then I started doing things, I would be started doing, being proactive really. So. so you kind of started pretty young, Did you were, yeah. were you a Christian at that stage as well? Um, 13 I was, yeah, 13 okay. I became a Christian at 13. 
Okay, was that because of your parents or? Nah, not at all. <laughs> now, if you knew the story, you'd know it wasn't my parents at all, man. <laughs> but no, um, not my parents. My parents, my dad's actually a pastor. Um, all right. But I was never, even though I was a PK, like my parents weren't like um, some other pastors. Yeah. Um, were, and they just left us, you know, they never left us to our own devices, but they let us make our own choices. They never pressured yeah. us or anything like that. You know, like that. So yeah. that's cool. It's cool. But it, did they still guide you? To yeah, they Christ? did. Yeah, yeah, cool. they did. So yeah, that's it. So what do you think was the main, like, um, turn point for you? How did you actually uh, get to know Christ for yourself? Okay, there's many. There's been many turning points because um, we always grow in as Christians um, and always getting deeper. And you always come to those turning points when you can either just drop off or you can yeah. carry on. But at 13 um, is one of those ones where I just ended up at the altar. I was actually dragged to the altar by one of my friends. Wow. I was dragged to the altar. Peer pressure. And, uh, well, <laughs> well, I had no choice. But what, when I was there, I, was, I remember sitting there thinking, what am I doing here? And I was just like kneeling at the altar, looking around. And all of a sudden, I just started crying couldn't stop crying and like afterwards when I looked around I saw all this tissue on the floor from what I've been using okay um, but that was when I got saved and then like at 16 that's when I realized that I needed a relationship we got a proper relationship that was built up on um, spending time with him and at that point I was actually um, considering leaving well no I'd made my choice to leave church yeah and um, I gave it a week and uh, in that week I was actually on a on a retreat with the young people from the church I used to go to. Right. And that's when God kind of just, I say the term messed me up, but he kind of just showed himself to me really, really did. And I realized, you know what, this thing is real. I'm either in it or I'm not. And I decided to carry on with it, man. So I didn't leave church. Otherwise I really wouldn't have been here wow. at all. I really wouldn't have been here. So yeah. that's, that's my story. Wow, man. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty oh. cool. Oh, man. And we love hearing testimonies on the show as well. So, yeah. you know, um, you brought out your EP recently. Indeed. Which is called Love, Life, Live. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like the EP myself. I've okay. got it on my phone. It's pretty nice. Have you, have, no, but have you been listening to it though? Of course. <laughs> but yeah, today you're going to be singing two songs. Ask the EP, right? Yeah, that's in the, indeed. Yeah. How did you come to start writing the EP or making the EP? Okay, and I've been writing songs since I've been about 16, 17. Wow. Um, so okay. I've always been writing. So in terms of the EP, um, that was something that I decided, to, I've been thinking about it for about five years. And each time I started doing stuff in the studio, um, something always came up. And then like it got to the point when I realized I just needed to now do something. So it meant okay. saving money, being proactive. And so in terms of the writing, um, two of the songs were already written and then the other two kind of came as I was yeah. doing the EP. It's behind 
you relieved the night it started when everything stood still while your life was taken for granted your innocence was killed so for years all you've done is run away never stopped in the midst just to turn and carry your heart back to where it It's been